details or cocktails. Having a sense of purpose in life can keep binge drinking at bay. Mocktails or cocktails. Having a sense of purpose in life can keep binge drinking at bay. You're listening to Technical News Reading, presented by Hakim Alipokis Alexander on Spreaker, social podcasting, presented for World Reading Club, in association with Uniquilibrium. This edition's reading focus comes to us from Neurosciencenews.com. It's published under the categories of Neuroscience and Psychology on January 31st, 2023. Summary. Having a sense of purpose in life decreases alcohol consumption and binge drinking temptation in some social drinkers. Source, University of Pennsylvania. Heavy alcohol use is common among college students, and as a consequence, it puts young adults at risk for a wide range of health issues, from cardiovascular disease to cancer. Day in and day out, college students are bombarded with cues to drink, whether that's seeing a group of friends toast at a party or celebrating after an exam. Using functional MRI, fMRI scanning technology, researchers from the University of Pennsylvania, Columbia University, and Dartmouth College examined the relationship between these cues, alcohol craving, and alcohol consumption. They found that having a strong sense of purpose in life decreases the temptation to consume alcohol to excess among some social drinkers. The study published in Addiction is titled Purpose in Life, Neural Alcohol Cue Reactivity and Daily Alcohol Use in Social Drinkers. Why Purpose in Life? Lead author Yuna Kang, a research director of the Communication Neuroscience Lab at Penn's Annenberg School for Communication, is deeply interested in the impact of purpose in life on health. Her previous research has found that having a strong life purpose, the sense that your life is guided by personally meaningful values and goals, is associated with many health benefits, including easing the loneliness of COVID-19 isolation and reducing the effort it takes to make healthy choices. Our first caption is of a nice red-colored cocktail with some lemon slices on it, which caption reads, Individuals whose brains showed greater activity when they saw alcohol cues, people with higher neuroalcohol cue activity, were more likely to drink after craving alcohol. Image is in the public domain. Neuroscience News continues. Values and purposes can have powerful effects on how people think and behave, Kang says. And that's what's interesting about this study, is that we asked participants, how much sense of purpose in life do you feel right now? Because your level of purpose can fluctuate day by day. Craving alcohol. For this study... Kang and colleagues charted the behavior and attitudes of 54 healthy college students with daily surveys over the course of a month. Once a day, participants answered questions about their current level of purpose in life, and every morning and evening they reported how much they craved and consumed alcohol. We focused on craving because it is one of the strongest predictors of actual drinking. If you crave, then you're more likely to drink, Kang says. But just because you crave alcohol doesn't mean that you're going to go out and drink. So we wanted to know what's nudging these social drinkers into drinking when they crave alcohol. 
The student volunteers also received fMRI brain scans, which gave a real-time picture of their brain activity while they were exposed to alcohol cues, like photos of beer, wine, and liquor, or photos of people toasting at a party. Researchers analyzed the participants' brain activity within the ventral striatum, the area of the brain previously associated with reward and craving. Individuals whose brains showed greater activity when they saw alcohol cues, people with higher neural alcohol cue reactivity, were more likely to drink after craving alcohol. When this data was matched with life purpose, with life purpose data, Kang and colleagues found something interesting. These neurally sensitive drinkers did not necessarily drink more if they were feeling a strong purpose, or these neurally sensitive drinkers did not necessarily drink more if they were feeling a strong life purpose when they craved alcohol, and if they felt less purpose- purposeful, they were more likely to drink heavily after a craving for alcohol. About this binge drinking and psychology research news. Source, or the author, press office, Source, University of Pennsylvania. Contact press office at University of Pennsylvania. The previously aforementioned image is in the public domain. The original research is under closed access and is from a paper titled Purpose in Life, Neural Alcohol Cue Reactivity and Daily Alcohol Use in Social Drinkers by Yuna Kang and others. Coming up, we have an abstract from that paper. You've been listening to Technical News Reading, presented by Hakeem Alipokis Alexander on Spreaker, social podcasting, presented for World Reading Club in association with Uniquilibrium. Neuroscience News continues with an abstract from the paper titled Purpose in Life, Neural Alcohol Cue Reactivity and Daily Alcohol Use in social drinkers. Background and aim. Alcohol craving is an urge to consume alcohol that commonly precedes drinking. However, craving does not lead to drinking for all people under all circumstances. The current study measured the correlation between neural reactivity and alcohol cues as a risk and purpose in daily life as a protective factor that may influence the link between alcohol craving and the subsequent amount of alcohol consumption. Design Observational study that correlated functional magnetic resonance imaging fMRI data on neural cue reactivity and ecological momentary assessments EMA on purpose in life and alcohol use. Setting Two college campuses in the United States. Participants A total of 54 college students, 37 women, 16 men, and one other, recruited via campus-based groups from January 2019 to October 2020. Measurements. Participants underwent fMRI while viewing images of alcohol. We examined activity within the ventral striatum, a key region of interest implicated in reward and craving. Participants then completed 28 days of EMA and answered questions about daily levels of purpose in life and alcohol use, including how much they craved and consumed alcohol. Findings A significant three-way interaction indicated that greater alcohol cue reactivity within the ventral striatum was associated with heavier alcohol use following craving in daily life only when people were previously feeling a lower-than-usual sense of purpose. By contrast, individuals with heightened neural activity cue reactivity drank less in response to craving if they were feeling a stronger-than-their-usual sense of purpose in the preceding moments. Conclusions Neural sensitivity to alcohol cues within the ventral striatum appears to be a potential risk for increased alcohol use in social drinkers when people feel less purposeful. Enhancing daily levels of purpose in life may promote alcohol moderation among social drinkers who show relatively higher reactivity to social cues. 
NeuroscienceNews.com asks that you join our newsletter. Sign up to receive our recent neuroscience headlines and summaries sent to your email once a day, totally free. We hate spam and only use your email to contact you about newsletters. You can cancel your subscription anytime. Neuroscience News posts science research news from labs, universities, hospitals, and news departments around the world. Science articles can cover neuroscience, psychology, AI, robotics, neurology, brain cancer, mental health, machine learning, autism, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, brain research, depression, and other topics related to cognitive sciences. You've been listening to Technical News Reading, presented by Hakim Alipokis Alexander on Spreaker. Social Podcasting, presented for World Reading Club in association with Uniquilibrium. This edition's reading focus has come to us from Neurosciencenews.com and is titled Mocktails or Cocktails? Having a sense of purpose in life can keep binge drinking at bay. It was published under the categories of Neuroscience and Psychology, on January 31st, 2023. You can read this article and others like it for yourself by visiting neurosciencenews.com That's N-E-U-R-O-S-C-I-E-N-C-E N-E-W-S dot C-O-M neurosciencenews.com Mocktails or Cocktails Having a sense of purpose in life can keep binge drinking at bay.